On today's episode, the first in a series, we are going to be using the leftover rotisserie chicken. As far as leftovers go, rotisserie chicken is a wonderfully useful base. It just might be the best. As such, rather than speak to a broad NBA theme, I'm going to get very specific and talk about the best, the MVP. We're going to be using some of the shredded chicken to make a chicken pot pie, a thick chicken and vegetable gravy completely enshrouded in a flaky pie dough. When I think of an all-enshrouding force, I think Moses Malone. In the 1978-79 season, Moses won the MVP. He was 24 years old. It was his fifth year as a professional since breaking barriers when he was drafted right out of high school by the ABA team, the Utah Stars, the first to ever make the leap without a college detour. Despite his youth, Malone entered the league in rare form, still malleable, but showing signs of his all-encompassing, rebounding ability. For equal malleability, we need fresh pie dough, not that frozen and folded stuff. To make pie dough, place the flour and salt into a food processor and begin to, well, process. Add cubes of frozen butter one at a time, waiting until one cube is mostly blended before adding the next. After all the cubes have been added, the mixture should resemble wet sand. Next, pour a quarter cup of ice cold water into the processor very, very, very slowly, just a little at a time. Moses Malone ended his career top 10 in points scored and is still second most all time in points made at the free throw line, scoring them a little at a time. Once the pie dough has fully combined and looks well, like pie dough, wrap in plastic wrap or a beeswax fabric and place in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes. When the ABA and NBA merged in the 1976-77 season, Malone was traded to the Houston Rockets where he spent two years buoying his team, averaging a double-double in points and rebounds. His approach to rebounding saw him track how his teammates shot. Depending on which player was shooting, Malone would position himself perfectly to cover where the ball was going to drop if they missed. In a large saucepan over medium heat, melt the butter then add the chopped veggies. Saute the veggies for 5-6 to six minutes or until the onion is starting to turn translucent. Add the flour and stir to coat. Add the chicken and stir again. Add the milk and broth and stir on a low heat. Finally, add the spices and stir again. Let simmer on a low heat until it thickens and easily coats the back of a spoon. Then you can kill the heat. Moses Malone's rebounding acumen combined with his 6 foot 10 inch frame allowed him to turn everything within arm's reach into his kingdom. In the 78-79 season, Malone was the best player in the NBA. Know that he won the MVP, but how he did was by taking what he was already good at and leveling up. He averaged nearly 25 points and 18 rebounds a game. Alongside veteran guard Rick Barry, Malone was the frequent beneficiary of passes he turned into dunk. On defense, Malone averaged over a block and a steal a game, helping his team on both ends of the court. Take out the pie dough, split in half, and roll out one half to fit your baking vessel. I am using an oval ceramic dish that I rubbed a half teaspoon of veggie oil along the surface. Lifting and pressing, shape the dough into the dish and then place a piece of parchment paper over it using pie weights or rice or beans. Uh, fill the pie mold before placing it in a 375 degree preheated oven. Let it cook for eight to nine minutes before removing the pie weights, scoring the base with the tines of a fork and cooking for an additional four to five minutes. Moses was the first player to go directly from high school to the NBA, as I mentioned. His high school team was undefeated and won back-to-back -back championships. While young entering the league, Moses always showed up to a new season, young or old, ready for the next challenge. Roll out the other section of pie dough while the first half is blind baking. When the blind bake is done, fill the pie mold with the chicken veggie mixture, cover with the other section of the pie dough, and press around the edges, sealing the pie before cutting a few air holes for steam to escape. Bake in a preheated 425 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until golden brown on top. Remove from the oven and let cool for 15 to 20 minutes. Moses Malone was one of the best players in NBA history. His first MVP was not the peak of the 21 year career, rather the first rung on a ladder he climbed to basketball Olympus. 
He stuffed the stat sheet and his teams won in the regular season and the playoffs. Until we return to him in later episodes, dig into this pot pie that will leave you feeling as full as Moses Malone's stat sheet. Tastes pretty good.